I'm Lieutenant Colonel Jeremy Turner. I'm the Director of Operations for the 41st Rescue Squadron out of Moody Air Force Base in Valdosta, Georgia. I have been in uh, multiple uh, different operations, uh, including Operation Enduring Freedom, Operation New Dawn, Operation Iraqi Freedom, Operation Northern Watch, and Operation Southern Watch. I was also part of Operation Anaconda in March of 02, which was probably the most uh, dangerous situation I think I've ever been in. There was an army soldier who was injured who ended up uh, needing to be e evacuated. Uh, the initial aircraft that were going to try to do that, uh, it was determined that the threat was too high for them and so they called for us as, they, as a more capable combat rescue platform. Uh, we went in under cover of darkness. We took significant fire uh, from uh, multiple locations, large AAA uh, up to 23 millimeters. Uh, as well as significant small arms. Uh, other aircraft that were operating in that environment uh, also have faced threats uh, associated with uh, rocket propelled grenades. When you're going into a hostile area where they're shooting at you like that, what's going through your mind? Honestly, the thing you think about most is how do you get your job done? Many people ask, are you scared? And the answer is you don't have time to think about being scared. You're busy trying to manage the situation, try and figure out what is the best way to solve this problem, because that's exactly what you're there to do. And I have been in humanitarian operations, such as operation uh, in support of the, the response to Katrina, where we were able to save thousands in a, in a humanitarian effort. Uh, I was actually one of the flying pilots that uh, made recoveries off of uh, buildings, houses, worked with a hospital. Uh, and then I was also in the command and control aspects of it, trying to uh, manage what aircraft were going to go where in the area so that we could make sure to cover as much as possible and recover every person we could. How rewarding was it for you to be part of Katrina and, and to help these people who had lost everything and help save lives? It's one of the more important things that we do. Uh, really, when people think about uh, personnel recovery and combat rescue, uh, they really do think about the wartime element, and that is a critical part of our job. But in addition to that, we have a humanitarian capability, and we try to deliver that whenever we're called on. In, one, in, in the case of Katrina, it was here at home, and we were able to deliver as much as we possibly could. Uh, it's a phenomenal feeling to be able to say that we made our fellow Americans who had nothing except you know, bad luck happened to them, we made them safe. And that is a huge uh, morale boost for us.